one question that I was recently asked by one of my uh, friend why do I have so many accounts on social media I mean that was an interesting question but since I have been doing a lot of learning on social media uh, I have been learning like uh, trying to understand how a profile should look like uh, when somebody goes to your feed basically they need to understand what are you up to what kind of person are you what are you trying to do there now initially when I started on social media I had no clue so what I used to do is I used to post everything that I used to like like for example I liked an outfit change so I tried outfit change I spoke about cats I mean I don't speak about cats but I used to post videos about my cats then I used to do something about my ma uh, marital life like of my marital life which I used to do then I used to post about uh, general talks then about my staycations so it it was a whole lot of thing happening there like I know it's all about my life but then when somebody comes and when I want a audience kind of thing to be built which is a requirement actually it would become very difficult for somebody to understand what is Lavina they're do doing there actually what is she trying to tell about like is she talking about something particular she's doing something about cats but yeah of course when I went and when I tried to do same thing with others I did understand that they are following a certain pattern like for example if you see certain uh, uh, influencers if they're talking about fashion they just talk about fashion if there is somebody who is talking about beauty they're just talking about beauty somebody's talking about makeup they just do things about makeup of course on stories maybe they share some other things about their life where they're traveling or whatever but you know 99% of their content will be related to one particular niche of theirs it's called niche by the way yeah one particular thing that you're really passionate about and really you want people to recognize you in that way that that it is that is what it is so then I realized that okay maybe I am doing a mistake by posting everything under one roof and which is kind of clutter for myself also like you know if I want to sort it out for my cats videos or something it's very difficult actually at times to do it if I have to search something about like uh, when did I post a couple video it gets very difficult to go and figure out on that feed as well like you know and some days the content ideas are so much like you know the flow of content ideas in my brain happens so much that at a short I end up doing around 5-6 uh, content videos for the cats then again about myself so there's a lot of thing and I can't keep posting honestly every day because it becomes a little too much you know so what I decided is okay I'm going to change the whole pattern of my uh, social media pages because it's not difficult to create any accounts like you know you can have you can have multiple accounts you can uh, create separate separate accounts whatever like you know so I decided for my cats related videos I'm going to make a separate cat page only where it is only about cats so when you come there it's like you'll not find about my day-to-day uh, -day activities or my corporate life or my such videos where I talk like a um, lot more the, those things don't come there it's all about my cats as to what they are how I spend with them how they are with me how it is to take care of cats so it's very clear like when anybody comes there if somebody wants to have a cat maybe you can get, go and see there like you know how my cats live with me of course there are not uh, so much of uh, teaching kind of uh, contents in that so same way when it came to another, uh, another uh, account I created where it is all about food you know since I'm a big foodie I go to a lot of restaurants so I create a lot of videos there like and I make videos pictures of all that uh, so basically to show the different kind of foods that I eat I created another food related Instagram page where I post only about food like you know it's all about food the whole idea of that food page was supposed to be with three of us three friends of us uh, mine we were, uh, we were together and we decided we'll do something for ourselves like you know, it's a memory so it has got something that you know it started with us three as friends continue to the food page basically so I uh, basically manage all these things all these accounts whichever are they are directly under me actually third account where I have is, is my personal account but it's all about me and more of all I post the contents about my corporate world about my day to day things a lot of stories keep happening on that because I share my daily because that's my very key basic account and um, it's my it's it's basically me and my account directly there like so same way on just Instagram these are the three different accounts that I manage right now personal my uh, kittens my kitties 
and my food account same way i have it on the tiktok as well but youtube is not sorted like that as of now because i'm going to categorize it over the time if i start posting more videos on youtube if i make, become a regular uh, youtuber then i'm going to categorize it but yes of course categorization also will be happening on that when i started youtube honestly yes i did videos all together like i did have a cooking video i did have a general talk i did have corporate talking so marital relationship related and also because when person comes there and tries to understand what am i talking about it might not connect with you for all the videos maybe you like some videos maybe you not like some videos so having a different again it's not a compulsion if you are not so focused on social media then it is not an issue but if you are really focused and you really want to see yourself growing and doing something different then maybe that's a good idea well again it depends on person to person can you manage so many accounts are you able to create so many contents that is also another question but what do you think about it i feel personally from my side i enjoy doing it because at least i know that you know i can go to my separate account and post something about my cats and uh, the way they behave and all that on that page anything i can do about cats i know my account is very clear that you know i can post anything about me my life my husband everything there and my food account is always so it's very clear for me so i don't have to mix up things here and there like you know and since i manage it again most important thing about social media unless you are a real influencer you already reached that stage then it is a different thing because then it becomes like your 9 to 5 job because you have to work for it and you cannot just post today and post don't post for next 5 days or something like that unless you have a genuine reason plus if you are already like in a person who is getting the uh, uh ads or promotional things from the uh, different brands or something like that you cannot escape from it you have to keep doing it like that's a job for you basically but if you're like me who is doing it for fun and uh, maybe a little bit of attention i wouldn't uh, it wouldn't be wrong to say that then it's okay because you're managing it you post it today don't post for next 5 days i don't post sometimes for days and months or something like that so it doesn't matter so ultimately you are managing your account so what do you think is it a good idea to have one account and have everything there or is it okay to have multiple accounts and enjoy that way as well what do you think about it let me know